Okay. It's it's really weird that we live in a time where we are so disgusted by lies, and yet the truth is something that seems to irritate people. So in case you woke up out of a 10-year coma or just arrived, this is called the current state of the world, with obviously a lot of cynicism, but complete honesty. Current state. <clears throat> what's going on in the White House is way more important than what's going on in your house. And what's happening in other countries is far more significant than what's happening in your neighborhood. Oh, by the way, no job is good enough for you. And no spouse is supportive enough for you. So the best thing you can possibly do for your happiness is to be broke, unemployed, and alone. Never ask your elders for answers to anything that they might know when you can avoid talking to them entirely and just look for it on Google. It's fine for you to completely stop talking to people you grew up with if they don't agree with your views about a complete stranger that neither of you actually even know. Winning an argument is way more important than losing a friend. No matter how deserving or appreciative they would be, make sure you don't buy anyone you care about gifts unless it's their birthday or Christmas. Mm. Investigating someone's past for several hours before you bother to meet them in person is perfectly acceptable because it's not like you hired a private detective or personally stalk them. I mean, if the information is accessible, you obviously deserve to have access to all of it. The best way to get to know someone is having them fill out a survey so that if you do meet them, you won't have to do with stressful things like talking to each other. Fun fact, Morgan Freeman, Denzel Washington, Thomas Dowell, and Lil Wayne are all black guys, but they're racist because they don't think racism exists. So you can say that there's something that they don't think exists in the first place. Also, country music is somehow racist, even though it never talks about killing black people, but hip hop and rap are part of the black identity, even though a vast majority of those songs talk about killing black people, wanting to kill black people, or having already killed black people. Statistically, the deadliest place for a black child to grow is not Baltimore, Chicago, or Detroit. It's its mother's womb. We're expected to support women's rights, but you are not allowed to ask who or what a woman is. The same people who were protesting for vaccine mandates are now carrying signs that say, my body, my choice. If you're already a citizen and have nowhere to go, we'll let you die sleeping on the streets. But if you just got here illegally, we'll put you up in a five-star hotel. The Occupy movement was a bunch of people using Apple products, going on Facebook, Google, and Twitter to complain about how much they hated big companies and rich people. Everyone pays extra money to get everything delivered to their door. But if you ask anyone, everyone claims to be broke and unemployed. Uber, Airbnb, and DoorDash are huge companies because somehow everyone's real dream job was to either be a cab driver, delivery driver, or hotel concierge. The company that made a bunch of money from selling cheap things that no one really needs bought a supermarket that charges a bunch of money for food that people do actually need. Humor. It's perfectly acceptable to pay up to $300 for headphones, but asking people to pay for the music they listen to? Ridiculous. People spend money on records and concerts to listen to rappers sing about what they do with all of their money. How you vote is way more important than how you spend, even though those politicians change every two to four years and every dollar goes to people who never change in power influence and only get stronger. We stop telling kids to say no to drugs, forget the drug war, and instead we make sure they take like three or four before they go to school every morning. Oh, fun fact, you're depressed because you have a chemical imbalance 
that requires several expensive drugs to cope with and not because everything in this ridiculous fucking world makes no sense and you're breaking your mind open trying to make sense of it. No matter how many times they did it, no matter how many times they sang about it or talked about it, if a celebrity dies from a drug overdose, it was totally accidental. Sending threat, death threats and destroying people's careers is how victims respond to people they think are bullies. That makes sense. You base your phone purchase on how good of a camera it has and how much high resolution video it can show you because no one uses a phone as a phone who calls people. If you ask questions about anything, it immediately means you're afraid of it. Even though knowledge makes you less afraid of things, but forget logic. Never talk to strangers. Never, ever talk to strangers, but continue to let them influence the movies you watch, the TV shows you watch, the places you go, the products you buy, the restaurants you dine at. Let strangers tell you everything to do, but don't let them say hello to you. We should provide more charging stations for electric vehicles, and it doesn't matter how much fuel and gas it takes to manufacture them and run them. We need that electric running. Oh, politicians should definitely do something about the environment. But everyone else is perfectly fine getting their food delivered in plastic bags, styrofoam containers, and cardboard boxes, all right? Just don't worry about all that. That's not their problem. Even if you're trying to help them avoid heart disease or diabetes, you should never comment on someone's weight because that's fat shaming. If you see someone with one leg, don't give them crutches. That's ableism. If you see an elderly person struggling to reach for something, don't help them. That's ageism. If you see a woman getting her do not interject, that is sexism. But if you see someone morbidly obese looking for a motorized cart at Walmart, help them. That's consumerism. Never help anyone, no matter how badly they may need it, because you're just virtue signaling and not being like a genuinely good person. Those don't exist. And if you want to be a hero these days, the most proactive and considerate thing you can possibly do is nothing. It is definitely the most popular choice these days. Do nothing, complain about everything. Last two, everyone spends their time talking about who has it worse, which is why nothing gets better. And remember, Making a living is way more important than making a difference because you're trying to buy your casket, not green grass on everyone's field. Thank you.